Hi everyone. Hi. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the two football breaks we did previous weeks. We're back to baseball. I am Dad, otherwise known as Matt, and this is my son, Lucas, all of nine years old and getting ready to go back to school tomorrow for the first day of school. What grade are you going to be in now? Fourth. Fourth year of college. College? Co college, just and fourth grade. Law. What grade are you going to be in, sweetheart? Second grade. Second grade. I can't wait to go back to school. All right. Well, get out of here. Let's get out of here. We're doing man stuff over here. Guy time. Shoo. 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 Shoo, little shoo, birdie. Shoo. shoo. A little birdie. Yeah. All right. She's off to play Minecraft here. So, where was I before I was so rudely interrupted? Oh, back to school. So, obviously, parents happy. Kids are happy. Everyone's happy. It's a great time of year. Only second to Christmas. Taking it into the account, we got a uh, one of my all-time favorites, Upper Deck, early 90s, state-of-the-art photography, state-of-the-art counterfeit, state-of-the-art mass production. But before we do that, folks... We have four letters. Four letters. If you remember, we're doing the through the... Four letters. Shush, skedaddle. We got four letters that we've... Uh, <laughs> kids are a little antsy because of school. I, whew, trying to keep control over here. All right, so we've been doing through the mail, sending cards off, self-addressed stand envelope, getting them back. We got uh, Gary Nolan last time, our first through the mail. So now we have four more that came since the last box break. So we're going to do them one at a time. Now this one was interesting because he kept the top loader and just sent the card. Interesting, what does that huh? Mean? There's no top loader in there. What does that mean? Just open it. So usually when you send cards through the mail to get autographed, you put them into a top loader. To protect it in the mail because the United States Postal Service does tend to destroy stuff in the mail. So just be gentle with it because there's no protection in there. It's the only one that I've gotten back without the card. Oh, Ted Power. Look at that. He must have forgot to put it in the case. Maybe. Thank you, Mr. Power, for that sweet, sweet, sweet autograph right there. Next one. So that's the second all time, and it's an Indian, so that's good. This one's still in the top loader. Birmingham, Alabama. I wonder, wonder who that could be. Oh, yeah, it's in the loader. Just yep. destroy it. Looks like I'm all by myself. Yep, it's in the loader. It is. Bum, bum, bum. Double. Yep, I sent off two cards to Mr. Chris Hammond. Oh, Three. He, he sent back an extra bonus card. Whoa. Pretty cool. And this looks like a, uh, a custom one. Look at that. that mean? It means he made it himself. Wow, cool. How awesome is that? I don't know if it's true or not. Probably not. Oh, wow. What? It has, it has something on the back that's interesting. Hold on for a second, though. So we got two Chris ha Hammond cards that I sent off to get signed. Both, uh, one tops, one Donruss. Very nice. Thank you, Chris. And then he sent back this custom-made one, which is actually on stiff cardboard. Very cool. And on the back, it has his stats, his major league debut, his family, his wife, Lynn, children, Andy, Jake, and Alex. And this is what part of what it says. There's a lot on the back here. I'm not gonna. I can't read the whole thing because you should send a card to him to get autographed. Because uh, I mean, awesome, right? Baseball is a great spectator sport, especially for a relief pitcher. I watch intently from the bullpen, knowing I could be called in at any moment. I may only play a few innings, but my team depends on me to throw every pitch, as if the score is tied in the bottom of the ninth. There's more to it. Uh, Pretty cool. I mean, if anyone really, really wants to hear it, I'll uh, I'll post it in the comments. But I think it's pretty cool. Yes. All right. Next up, we got one coming back from Jackson, Mississippi. I wonder who that could be. I don't know. I think there's only one way to find out. Open it. That's right. Always remember, if you get an autograph through the mail, to open up the letter when you get it back. Otherwise, you will never know what card's inside. And it's a bust. Oh, old school Boston Red Sox. This was one of the buybacks from last year. Uh, they didn't put the stamp on it last year, which is kind of chintzy. 
So it, it just looks like a common card. But it's a Dalton Jones, 1968 autographed card. Awesome. Thank you, Dalton Jones, for that one. And then the big one. Big, 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 Address big, the Lucas. Big one. Big, big Postage one. marked. Boston, Massachusetts. We sent off two cards to current Boston Red Sox. One to uh, a player, one to the manager. I wonder what one it is. This is what it's about, folks. Sending cards oh, off to your favorite players. Dun, 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 Football. Oh, it's a Patriot. I, I will send you another signed card. James White, rookie, signed the card but, but smudged it badly. But still awesome. Dad, look what it says. I will send you another signed card. Yes, yeah, so we made a note. That said, I will send you another signed card. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, James White, I mean, you don't have to. I mean, it's still, it's a signet, you know, I know you signed it. And uh, I'm trying to get Lucas in the football this year so he can watch the Patriots games with us. But the fact that you took the time to do that and send this is, uh, that, that's, that's pretty awesome. I mean, it's almost worth getting the card signed. Uh, you could tell he's a rookie because he didn't let the uh, the sharpie dry before he put it back in the top loader. Imagine if he sent you another card. Yeah, he, this guy's got too many things on his plate to he's, worry about us. He probably is since other. Yeah, know. you need to, to do good for the Patriots this year because it's been a couple of years. So what do you say if we get to the box break? Thank you again, though, for the thought of, of going out of your way to send us some, uh, Lucas something else. Uh, that's awesome. So interesting about these cards. I bought them $5 a box. They still have CVS stickers price stickers on them. $1.49 in 1992. Uh, I mean, this is premium pricing for back then. Uh, Tampa resistant wrappers because people were opening up the old wax packs, taking the good cards out, sealing them back up. Holograms. This is Find the Ted Williams by Exciting New Design. Look for collector holograms. Earn points doing something. There's 2,500 personally autographed Ted Williams cards randomly inserted. So we can actually find an autographed Ted Williams card in this pack. Keep in mind, they made approximately 942 million packs of cards. So the odds are pretty much someone walking into my house in the next two minutes and hiding me $100. Probably better than getting a Ted Williams. But there's always a chance to get a, a Teddy Ball game autographed card. And uh, not only that, but on the back, there's an oversized... Baseball Heroes, Ted Williams card. So even the box is collectible for the old uh, upper deck. I can't believe he wrote a note saying he's going to send you another card. <laughs> oh, mercy me. Oh, boy. Look at this. Two cards, back-to-back. -back. Larry Anderson, same card. Oh, this, oh. Is a nice, this is a pretty cool card. I'll use this as my description. Marvin Freeman, sitting on the dugout roof. Signing autographs for the fans. That's pretty awesome right there, folks. And then the back of the cards has a couple years worth of stats and another full color photograph and the infamous Dad, can you open this? upper deck hologram in the corner. One of the subsets I was thinking about trying to get autographed was uh, autographs of card on cards of players signing autographs, which I think would be pretty neat. But that's a pretty cool card, huh? Hey, this is no, look, my pack. Yours is still in there. Oh. I'm, I'm not going to do the whole thing for you. I wish you did. I wish. Look at, I mean, this I is just great, it. great photography right there. And if you don't like that picture, turn it around. Get another full color shot of I your think. favorite heroes. Sliding, fielding. Sliding, fielding. Sliding Here's our field. first Red Sox player. Hey, Dad, look at that. Oh, National Anthem, Tom Bolton, I remember him. Whoa, this guy has a wacky one. And here we have Bloodlines. Dad, look at where that glove is. <laughs> that is pretty crazy, huh? This is Jeff Reardon, who set the all-time save uh, record while well, with the Red Sox. Uh, how many saves do you have? 40 saves the previous year prior to this, but that's, look at that picture. 
That's a good one right there. Box of action socks. Look at that one. Oh, man. Tell me about it. Look at this one. And what's that on the back? Signing autographs. I see. You even have to look at the backs to get them all. Uh, we have It's not an insert because it's part of the basic set, but it's called Bloodlines. And they're brothers, Roberto and Sandy Alomar. Are they different teams? Yep. One was on the Blue Jays, one was on the Indians. What if, what if they had to bow each other? They did. They played each other. They were both in the American League. Wow. Yep. I wonder how hard that is. Not very. I mean, they're probably very competitive people their whole lives. I know, but battling your brother, that's a different story. If I hey, here we go. Brother, I Not the best action shot ever, but hey, chewing bubble gum, that's almost a national pastime for you. Uh, one of my that's favorite fun. players of all time for the Boston Red Sox, yeah. Mo Vaughn. Mo? Does he mow a lawn? They call him the hip dog. Ooh, that one's cool, but I'm not going to show that. You're not going to show it? Dad, look at the back of this one. That one is just a pop-up, but look at the back. Oh, that's cool. We're going to show you the backs of some of these, using the camera to take some video footage. I'm going to put the camera in the back. All right. We got another bloodlines, Pedro and Ramon Martinez. A. A. And I can Wow. Andre Dawson, look at that on the back. Wow, that was some artist must Man. have drew that back. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you here. Dad, These are some good cards. Dad, did somebody paint that yep. or something? That's the collector's choice. Detroit Tigers checklist of Cecil Fielder, and it's a painting. Yeah, look at this so each guy. team has Ooh. one of those. Okay, I'm gonna look at the back. Yeah, he, he's a scrawny little guy, huh? He's a little thin. Okay, guys, look at this. Oh, the Cleveland Indians team card. Nice. I didn't want to show you until the end. Very cool. So that's the Indian team card. Very cool. I'm gonna put that in my Indians pile. Let's see what we got here. How back am I supposed to open these things? There's a trick to opening up the deck cards. How? Tell me. You got you can't you gotta hold it like this. Grab put your thumb right up there and pull away like that. Ah. So I have to hold it sideways? Mm-hmm. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, see, I told you. You gotta spill that water. Gene Larkin. If you don't like that one. Nice action shot on the back. These are sharp cards. I like these cards. No, card, these cards are made to be autographed. Just splendid. Maybe we should use some of these to autograph. That's a fantastic idea. I think I may do just that. I found two upside down cards. Jeez, this one's kind of sticky here. Oh, let's see here. The same card, the same card. And nice bright Pirates. colors, crisp action shots. Pirates. Louis Smith, is this after the Red Sox? Yeah, after you left the Red Sox for a couple of years. Ooh, Red Sox. One of the all time great Indians. Nice action shot there. Look at the guy in the background watching. Okay. Oh, yeah. You can see him go. We got a top prospect for the Red Sox, Jeff Plimpton, who I remember seeing play. Roger Clemens, the Rocket Man, best right-handed pitcher for Boston Red Sox. Rocket Man. What the? Roger Clemens. Bloodlines, buddy. Bloodlines. What does that mean? That means family. Oh, and they all play on the same team, Mariners. That's right. The man who made up a deck what it is, Ken Griffey Jr., Ken Griffey Sr. and uh, Ken Griffey Jr.'s brother, whose name I'd never heard of before. But that's a nice family picture right there. Keeping it in the family. Here's a, <laughs> here's a good one of a, even as a major league pitcher, it's never too late to get some instruction. And that's what Tommy Lasorda is doing right there. What is happening? He's giving some instruction to his pitcher. 
showing them how to grip the ball. Wow. Pretty cool, huh? You're never too old. Dad, look, I did it. I totally didn't use my teeth. What? Yeah. Carlos Martinez, very cool. I like these Indians. I like the Indians. Mm. Or a Horsheiser. Right. Not what you'd call a very cool looking guy, but with those sunglasses. He looks cool. I'll give him that one. This is a great action shot. Tony Phillips. Check out this action. Dad, you should check out this action. Who's that, Tom Bernanski? Dad, look. So he's swung on the bat. He's run. Tom Bernanski made one of the all-time great catches in the, uh, I think it was the 88 uh, playoffs. Nope, it wasn't the 88 because he wasn't with the Red Sox. How about that 90 play, 1990 playoffs? Uh... This one without his mustache. I always remember him with the mustache. Check out that action shot. Whoa. That's what, what I said. Why is he tripping? He slid Orioles? into second. Yeah, it looks like Tigers, maybe. Tigers, Orioles. Aw. It might be the Mets. And here is the Texas Rangers team card with a painting of Nolan Ryan showing someone how to throw the fastball. Look at him. He's instructing him. How to throw the fastball. Oh, cool. Expos. Angels. Dad, look at this. <laughs> Chuck Finley, hard day at the office right there. Sorry about the glare. I mean, these are so so glossy. It's uh. Athletics. No way, it's Giants. I don't know why. If you remember, uh, we broke some 92, uh, was it Donruss before? And they weren't that good looking at all. These are such a step above anything else that I was coming out. I never heard this out. team, the Keys. What? The Keys. That's a minor league team. That, that's because he, he was so new that he did not even have a picture of him in his uniform. What team is he actually on? The Orioles. Oh. Now look at this shot of Joe Oliver for the, the uh, Cincinnati Reds. So, mm. Yeah. Look at the look in his face. Can I see? I can't see. That's the termination for you right there. Look at the catch he's like. Look at him right in the eye saying, okay. son, you're out. Dad, Ted Williams. You got one of the subset, Ted Williams. 32 out of 36. This is 1947 when he won his second triple crown. Is it? From the Hall of Fame. That's right. He was one of the two statues. It was Ted Williams and Babe Ruth. Both had statues. Uh, what considered the greatest hitter of all time, if you can believe Babe that. Babe Ruth. Didn't we just get Ted Power's autograph? Didn't it come back, Ted Power? Yep. We sure did. This was the uh, uh, Fleer '93, actually. But now we get have them in the upper deck 92. And just what I was talking about before, we had Donruss 1991. Look at that card. Of course, this is autographed. And check out the quality <coughs> of that card. What a difference. Can what, I see? What a difference a, a year makes here. We, they went from this with that plane back to this with another picture and stats on the back. Wow. That's what I said. Wow. Expos again. Expos, a team that doesn't exist. Wow. Rangers. Uh, George Brett, look at that Rangers. swing. And are there any other uh, teams that don't exist anymore that I In this don't box, know? I think the Expos will be the only one. No, I mean like at all. Yeah, lots of teams came and go. You know, Boston used to have two baseball teams. What? I think actually three back before the Boston Braves. They had the Boston Braves, and they had the Boston Pilgrims, I believe, at one point. And this is a, a Jim Abbott uh, inspirational card. And it says, if you can understand this, you can understand this. Stay in school. And that's Jim Abbott, who only had one hand. What? He only had one hand. He was missing his right hand. Why? Yeah, I don't know why. I think I mentioned him before and I thought I was going to look it up. But uh, he'd keep the glove on the stump, throw the pitch, 
and then stick his hand in there so he could feel. And when he caught the ball, he had to stick it under his thing, his uh, armpit, grab the ball out, and throw it. Oh. I'm, I feel old, but I feel honored to have watched Jim Abbott, uh, George Brett, Pete Rose, Mike Schmidt, uh, Rod Carew, Carl Yastrzemski. Uh, I'll play the game, man. It's a, it's a good thing. Mark Lee. I don't know how thrilled he was when he saw this card. I mean, it's uh, not what you'd call the action shot. Or maybe I'll do a subset of uh, people blowing bubbles because there seems to be a lot of those in this set. Will Clark getting the little makeup put on. Makeup. I'm just kidding. That's the black stripe to cut down on the sun's glare. Can I see? And if that's Make not that. to your liking, you've got a nice action shot on the back. These are fantastic cards. Another Expos. They Never. made a ton of them. But look at this. Best hitter, Wade Boggs. So best right-handed pitcher for the Red Sox, best hitter for the Red Sox. Dad, look at this action shot. That you is... can actually see the ball. Yeah. Cool. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Yeah, he, he looks cool. Oh, you want a cool card, folks? What's a cool sure, card? Sure, he was a steroid junkie and kind of a jerk, but he did play for the Red Sox, and that makes him all right. But this is a cool card of one Jose Canseco. How's that? Look at this. What are you doing? He swings, he watches it go, and he starts to run to first. They call that a, uh, uh, it's like, uh, uh, Eclipse time photography or something. So that's all one scene of him swinging. So there's three in right. one. Dad. Yes, sir. Look at this. So you see this? This is the Cleveland. No. That's the Indians. Uh, the, the Cincinnati. Oh. Reds. And then something similar. Another. Another team picture of the uh, Indians. And you got the team of the Tigers. This is about the fourth or fifth time. I've seen this card come through. What is it? It's uh, Tommy the Sorta fixing oh, it, yeah. showing Bob how to throw uh, the spitter. Spitter? I'm just kidding. You. I'm sure that's not the spitter. Oh, look at this one. Jose Canseco and Ricky Henderson. It's uh, the American League Best of Checklist card. And that, that team back in the uh, 80s, the Oakland Athletics, was just phenomenal. Phenomenal. Bum, phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. So you got Roger McDowell, and he's pitching, and it's hot out. The fans are thirsty, Lucas. Yeah. So. What can what can Roger do for him? That's what he could do for him. What is it? Spraying them with from water with water from a hose. Oh, that's funny. That's a great card. Jeez, there's a lot of good stuff on this. A lot of a lot, a lot of good stuff. And lot and a lot of cards. Look at this pile of cards I got from a few packs, Dad. If you like, oh, look at this old star rookie card, a future Hall of Famer in Red Sox ace, one of the best all-time pitchers. Pedro Martinez. I got the old Pedro Martinez rookie card, folks. And I got another Ted Williams card where he joins the 500 home run club. But more importantly, I got the Mariners Ken Griffey Jr. card, which is another one of those image cards. Look at that one of him hitting. Whoa. Wait, which one is the one that starts first? He starts up there and works his way that oh, way. Oh, because... There's like a bunch Ooh. I couldn't find out. And then Luis Planera is getting choked out by a kid. What? Just like the Simpsons or something in reverse. Oh. All right. Man, we're running out of battery on this thing already. Should have charged this up. Let's see what we got here. 
The great set, $5. If you ever get a chance to break one of these boxes and you just want to look at some of the photographs, great set to get autographed. Uh, <laughs> they really, really spent a lot of time with the photography. Uh, Cal Ripken Jr. How do I really get shots like that without getting Very expensive picture. cameras that take pictures from far away. And go through people? No. But they, they, then how did they... They got to take picture after picture after picture. They'll take thousands of pictures to get the one they need. Wow. First time Indians. What picture are you going to have of Ricky? Either running or stealing. I see. All-time stolen base leader. Carlos Quintana for the Red Sox. You're awful quiet over there, buddy. Not a lot of great action shots coming your way. Not a lot, but I did find it. What the? What in the world? What the? What the? What? Look at this dude on the Red Sox. What is he doing? It looks like he's break dancing. You can just see him go. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. I'm having a good time. Oh boy. Oh, yeah, Scott Fletcher? He used to be on the Red Sox, right? Scott Fletcher? Oh, that name sounds awful familiar. Oh, I got a hologram. I got a hologram. Hologram, hologram. I got the Toronto hologram. Blue Jays. Heroes of Baseball hologram card. Oh, look, you can see the camera. Can I see? The camera. No, I'll forget it. It's just a reflection. And then we got uh, another checklist, a nice little all-star portrait right there. All right. Oh. Yeah, you, you got hypnotized by it. Let's get these cards done. Let's see if we got any more outstanding shots. Wade yeah, Boggs. I can't tell what this is supposed to be a star. The mascot pointing at the camera? <laughs> or that person? What a great picture that is. I can't tell who That's the That's Cecil Fielder. Which one? And the, the chicken's pointing at the camera. Look at that. It's a, dude, look at the camera. Prince Fielder's father? That's a, a, a unbelievably good card. Why Charles you... Nagy. I kind of got them all mixed up. Greg Harris, I remember him. Here's another great, great shot, Chris Gwynn. Chris, look at that shot. Wow. He's out for sure. Phillies. I gotta keep this one separate because I like it. Ooh, I put the Indians there. Hi. We got a, this is a good action shot too. Look at the dirt flying up in the air. Person? Whoa. Pretty cool. Alright. Oh, Dad, look at this. This must be some kind of practice. Yeah, Jose Canseco taking batting practice. Yeah, that's I can like tell the... because he doesn't have his cap or the normal yeah. uniform on. That's the third Jose Canseco card that we got. We got another Teddy Ball game card. So that's three on the box. As you can imagine, these were in hot demand back in my day. Uh, Ted Williams is an institution in New England. Uh, it's a shame what happened to him later on in his life with uh, his family and his son trying to control him and making him sign autographs, uh, even when he was in failing house. Ozzy Smith, excellent. Cecil Fielder, where is that one I just saw? One of the all-time greats, Kirby Puckett. Where's this Cecil Fielder? And then Matt Young with his son. And he was a Red Sox starting pitcher who actually was unable to throw the ball to first base from the mound. Why? He just had this thing. He'd throw it left, he'd throw it right, he'd get by the first baseman. It was uh, it was unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it. I don't think anybody has, to be honest with you. Dad, there's the Cincinnati on my pile, and you just threw an Indians on my pile. Fred McGriff, the crime dog. Action shot. Ooh, this is an action shot. He's going to bunt. Look. Yeah. That's a good way to bunt, too. Another baseball hero. So we got four on the box so far. 
Only one hologram, so hey. No, uh, no autograph. No, they don't have any autographs in this set. Well, I guess they have the one Ted Williams, but if we actually pulled that, that would be defying all logic and statistical odds. What does that mean? It means we're not going to pull one. Why? Because they just didn't make that many of them. I mean, you'd have to buy thousands of boxes. Whoa. Oh, I got a, another hologram. This one is the oh, New York it? Yankees. Cool. So two per box, perhaps. Maybe we have five, one of those rare 20? baseball cards with the player holding a football. What? Holding a football. Why? I don't know. Dude, you can move to the football team if you want to hold a football. Yeah, he's just relaxing. Let the boy have some fun. He's not boy. He's a man. And you got Nolan Ryan, one of the all-time great pitchers. Silent thought before a game, perhaps. Getting focused, getting his chi centered. Uh, I want to thank everybody who has written in. Uh, we had a few people ask for our address so they could send in a letter and some uh, cards for Lucas to open up on camera. I appreciate it. If we can send you anything, please let us know because I got more than my share of cards in the basement. I got a White Sox hologram. Uh, thank you everyone for clicking on the ads. Thanks for leaving comments, uh, sharing the videos. It's important to help us Ooh, uh, build up. Oh, White Sox one. Yep. Maybe it's already for a box. Perhaps. Uh, we're approaching 50,000 uh, individual watches of our videos, which is uh, awesome. Uh, a little bit scary that that many people watched our videos. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much for uh, finding it interesting. I hope you learned a little bit about uh, baseball and collecting while you're here. Uh, if you have any advice for us or you have any questions, feel free to leave comments in the uh, uh, video comment section. You know, I'm always happy to help. Try to send off cards to get autographed by your favorite players. Cool one. Another one using the camera. Awesome. You don't see cards like this anymore. Uh, it's great to get mail and get autographs from uh, players. Uh, you know, you're not going to get the A-plus Tom Brady's because they're just too busy. They have so many demands. But, uh, you know, do, do the smaller guys. I mean, they're, they're all athletes. They're all trying their best. And uh, a lot of these guys who played back in the day didn't make a ton of money. And I'm sure they appreciate, Dad. some of them anyway, hearing from uh, people who remember them and their contributions Dad, did to you the get game. another one? I did. Another White Sox. Here's a cool one. Keith and Kevin Mitchell made it to the World Series in their first year, and they combined two pictures into one. Very, very cool. So last packs here before our battery dies. I think we're going to squeeze this in, and we'll call it a night. And Lucas can go to bed, get ready for some school tomorrow. No. I got a great, great... Action shot of Pudge. Of uh, Dad. Carlton Fisk. Should have been a Red, uh, a Red Sox for life. Instead, uh, bad contract, got delayed, didn't sign it, and wind up leaving. We got our Red Sox team card with, uh, looks like Ellis Burks on it. Can I see? So nice artwork there. Always uh, nice when they put art in. A great one of Howard Johnson holding his kid. That's a beautiful card. I wonder if I could get that signed by him and the son. His son's probably, uh, what, in his 30s now? And, of course, the man, the myth, and the legend, the most exciting player in baseball, Ken Griffey Jr. You don't yeah. believe me? It says it on the back. Most exciting player. I see. Right on top, buddy. It does not lie. So we still have yeah. 1990 upper deck to break. We got two boxes of Ultra Donruss, Series 1 and Series 2. I got some old tops. I got another pro set. I got some football cards. I just got a box of uh, 2014 Topps Football Jumbos with two autographs and a relic. We're going to pull those. Uh, that should be here, uh, what's today? Tuesday should be here next, uh, maybe by the end of the week we'll do a video. Uh, just in time for a kickoff as uh, we're about a week and a half away. Uh, from the Patriots home opener. 
Uh, you going to watch some football with me this year? Sure. That's what I like to see, agreeability. Um, Hey, let us know what you want to see in the comments. We're more than happy to. You want to send us stuff we can open on film? More than happy to. You want some of our stuff? Please. Take some of our stuff. Uh, I can't send out boxes of cards because they're expensive, but I can send an envelope full of cards for a buck. Uh, I just can't send pounds of cards because I'm not, not that rich. Um, my daughter's excited for school. I hope you guys are excited for school. I'm not. Read a lot. Baseball is a fantastic sport if you want to read the history of the game. He's reading a book on Babe Ruth. Learn about the history. Look at the stats. All these stats on the back. All right. That, that doesn't have stats. Neither does that one. All these stats on the back, they're all just math problems. They're equations. They're percentages. They're averages. They're numbers. They're history. They're records. And you can learn a lot about math and history by uh, exploring the game of baseball. It's been around a long time, and uh, it's been through a lot, and it's always continued. So, uh, and Lucas actually has his first game tomorrow. He's doing fall ball. So maybe I'll take a little video of him swinging. I know. Getting some good hits, and I'll include it in the next video. What do you say to that? Sure. Sure. So, thanks again for watching. I'm Matt. And I'm Lucas. And I'm Lillian. And I just farted. All right. What a way to end the day with gassiness in my house. Be cool, stay in school, and remember, knowing is half the battle.